welcome back. We are getting ready to fry some fish. This is croaker fish found off of the Atlantic Ocean, and it is amazing. You can find it in a lot of places going along the coast. And this is the croaker fish. You will definitely need some of it. This is an award-winning recipe. My father used to catch croaker fish off the Mississippi River all the time. He would fry it up in this amazing cornmeal batter, and oh my goodness, it won over a many of hearts. So I'm going to share this recipe with you all and show you just how we do it. All right, guys, let's get busy. Okay, now, of course, we have to start off with the star of the dish, our fish. This is a whole fish. The head is off, but there are bones in it, so you have to be careful when eating it. But it is amazing. So we have our cornmeal. Now, this is regular yellow cornmeal, not cornmeal mix corn meal plain corn meal okay so we want to make sure it's not the mixed kind that's the second star of the dish so we have an egg we have some heavy cream lemon and shortening this is pure shortening guys now you can use any oil that you have but shortening will ensure it has the crispiness that we're going for then over here we have garlic powder onion powder, and also our salt and pepper season to taste. Now, get your fish ready by taking your lemon juice and pouring your lemon juice all over the fish. Now, it doesn't need to cover it completely, but you want to make sure you toss it in the lemon juice and let it sit for maybe about five or ten minutes, just soaking up that flavor. It's going to be amazing. We're not going to rinse our fish. Setting that aside, we're going to make our batter. Now, I have a couple of eggs in here. And guys, I'll have all the ingredients down in the description for you guys. I'm adding a little heavy cream right here. And just a tad bit of water to thin it out just a little bit. You can use milk, then you won't need the water. Go ahead, give that a good whisk. Let's add our seasonings in. We're going to start off with a little homemade garlic powder. You can use your regular garlic powder. A little onion powder in there as well. Putting in a little cayenne pepper. If you don't want the heat, you can leave that out. Himalayan salt and pepper, as always, to taste. Make sure you combine that really, really well. Now, let's get our cornmeal mix combined. Put your cornmeal mix, you want to use a shallow dish because that's easier when coating your fish. To the cornmeal, we're going to go back in again with our garlic powder, onion powder, a little cayenne pepper, salt, pepper to taste, guys, as always. Mix this up really well, combine it. Now we're going to take our fish and lay it in a shallow dish so that we can season it up with our salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, a little onion powder. Okay, now you want to pat your seasoning in. Don't rub it in. You want to pat it in. Just pat it in. Make sure you get the insides because we want that part seasoned really well too. Okay. We've got our batter here. Let's dip it in there. Make sure it's well coated and make sure you let the excess drip off. We don't need that clumping up in our oil. So make sure all your excess is, you know, shaking off really, really well. Then just go ahead, put it in your cornmeal mix. You're going to do the same thing. Make sure you coat it well. We're even putting a little of this cornmeal mix in the inside. Get down in there with your hands. Just get down and dirty with it. It's going to be amazing. We're going to sit it on this plate right here, let it rest, and we're going to do all our fish like that. So just continue with each piece of fish until they're all battered and coated in the cornmeal. And this is what they should look like. Okay, now for our oil, we want to bring it up to just about 365. Make sure it's good and hot. Sit your fish down in there gently. Do not drop it in there. Do not crowd your pan. You want to deep fry it, so use a heavy bottom pot, or I'm using my cast iron um, pot right now. Fry it up five to eight minutes each side. Flip it over. Look how crispy that is. Mmm, -mm, delicious. Crispy all on the inside. Let it cook on the other side. Then we're going to remove it from our oil. 
let it rest a few minutes so on our plate, get it all plated up and bring you guys in a little bit closer. Doesn't that look amazing? Look how crispy that is inside, guys. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, if you have not subscribed, go ahead, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you'll always get my recipes every time I upload one. Look at that crispiness. Mm, mm. If you all enjoyed the video, go ahead, share it out, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mm-mm.